But I'm going to take on South End tomorrow at the Hive. Dean, four wins in six. It's good good form taking you into South End tomorrow, who are also on a good run of games. How's how that form helping you in a league that's the fixtures are very congested? Very congested this time of year, yeah. Um, we played obviously last Tuesday at Bromley. Go again tomorrow against South End. Play next Tuesday again against Altrincham. Uh, obviously with the weekend of the FA Cup. So we've continued to take it one game at a time. Um, respect Kev and his team. Uh, they are in good form and they're playing well as well too. Um, so yeah, but we're playing well too. Uh, we're also in a, we're also in solid form. Um, I still believe we should have more points on the board. I think our performances deserve that. But sometimes it's the business you don't get what you deserve. So we just got to keep plugging away and move on to this game. This will be a good game. Uh, there's no doubt they'll bring a big crowd and hopefully we can have a big crowd and give our support or something to cheer about. How are your preparations for South End tomorrow with uh, them having the best defence in the league this season and conceding 11? How do you plan on breaking them down and getting the points tomorrow? Well, we've got players like Shields and um, you know Pritchards and De Havilland and Cavambas. We've got lads who score goals. We scored a lot of goals this year so I'd like us to have more clean sheets. I think that's the reason why we're ninth in the division at the minute. So. Um, if we had more clean sheets, I definitely believe we'd be further up the division. So, um, how do you plan on going about it? We've got loads of ability, you want players to express themselves. Um, and I thought the other day, I was probably a little bit harsh on the players in my post match after the game. Um, and to be fair, the scrum top they sat in, but we got to find ways to win the football match. Players have got to find ways to affect the game. But I thought what we did really well on Friday night was when we went 1 0 down, sort of with 10, 10 minutes to go, um, we showed a lot of courage really to come back into the game. And, and obviously Pritchard got a fantastic goal and we had two or three great chances as well when, we, when it was one all, so which we didn't take. And uh, their goalie made an unbelievable save from, from Harry Pritchard as well from a long range volley. So look, um, it was good we didn't get beat and uh, tomorrow night obviously we want to try and win the football match and uh, in a game I think there'll be, there's, there's a few ex-players there, there's a few ex-coaching staff at the football club as well, so it's got a little bit of spice to it. It is going to be a spicy game tomorrow. Harry Pritchard has been in good form, four goals in his last point. Four games. How important is players like that uh, for games like tomorrow? Harry's been our most consistent, reliable player this season. Outstanding um, in all aspects of his game. Just the basics, he does so well. What he, he's low maintenance around the place. He's easy to manage. Uh, he deserves a lot of credit. He's been a real leader. He's been a senior player as well. So, yeah, Harry's done really well. Um, long may that continue. Is there any fresh injury concerns ahead of tomorrow's game? Yeah, we have to be fair. Um, Dom will probably have a fitness test. He's, he feels something in his hamstring, so, and you know this is sort of Dom's issue really. Um, he's got to get through games. It's men's football now. It's mortgage football. We need him to get through games if he's feeling little niggles and that. We won't be stupid. Uh, we know we do have to wrap him up because of obviously he's he's a uh, his history of injuries. But um, yeah, he's he's a he's a doubt. And then obviously Gormo suspended, but Idris is back, which is a major boost. Was not all we missed with Idris on there. On, the, on Floyd, you know, he's got that little bit of magic he can go by people. Um, he, he's reliable defensively, so that's sort of where we're at. Everybody else is where they are. Uh, Moose is still out. Um, Jamal Loza had an operation a couple of weeks ago on his groin, what about 10 days ago or so on his groin. So, um, Jordan Thomas is still out, so we still have a few players out. Um, and we haven't really been able to get continued, consistent selection as well, which is quite frustrating. So, just looking on the board behind you. So, yeah, look, this is what the squad's there for. All the players are getting an opportunity tomorrow and they've got to grab it with both hands. Dean, thank you for your time. All the best for tomorrow. Cheers.